Back to Bethel, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Genesis 35 and verse 1, God speaking to Jacob, the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there, and make there an altar unto God that appeareth unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. In the journey of life, there are moments when we encounter God in profound ways. These are Bethel moments, the times when heaven touches earth and our hearts are forever changed. But as time passes, we often drift away from those sacred places and lose sight of the impact they had on our lives. When Jacob received this divine instruction to return to Bethel, it wasn't just about revisiting a physical location. It was a call to reconnect with the God who had met him there. Bethel was the place where Jacob had seen the ladder reaching to heaven, where angels ascended and descended. It was a place of encounter, revelation, and transformation. In our lives, there are Bethel moments, times when God revealed himself and spoke to our hearts and changed the course of our lives. Maybe it was during a worship service, a quiet moment of prayer, a time of crisis. These are places that we felt his presence, heard his voice, and knew we were not alone. But life has a way of pulling us away. We get busy, distracted, sometimes wounded. We forget the promises made at Bethel. We lose sight of the altar we built there. And in the process, we disconnect from the God who met us. Yes, just as God instructed Jacob to return to Bethel, he invites us to do the same. It's not about physical travel. It's about a heart journey. We need to go back to those sacred moments, those altars of encounter, and rekindle our relationship with God. It's not just about us. Bethel is also a place of reconciliation for Jacob. It was where he made peace with Esau, the brother he had deceived. Going back to Bethel meant facing the past, forgiving, rebuilding broken relationships. Likewise, as we return to our spiritual Bethels, we may may find people waiting there, those who impacted our lives, those we need to forgive, those we need to embrace. It's a place of healing, restoration, and renewed connection. So let's all heed the call, arise and go to Bethel. Let's revisit those moments of encounter, build new altars, reconnect with God. And as we do, we may we also find reconciliation with others. For Bethel is not just a place. It's a sacred space where heaven meets earth and hearts are forever changed. Dear Father God, I pray that you'd be with us as we go back to those times of encounter and we remember precious moments where you've met us in the dark valleys of the shadow of death, but also in the, the quiet paths of righteousness, God, and the still, the still small places where your quiet voice has whispered peace to our troubled hearts. Help us, God, to connect with you in powerful, profound ways that our relationship with you wouldn't be some sort of religious treadmill, but instead a rich relationship that is vibrant and dynamic and carries on into eternity. We ask this in your son's most holy, precious, and powerful name. Amen. Hey, Hey, guys, I want you to know I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.